to Season 6 of Grand Columbia. This video will be an intro to Season 6, but it won't be the first episode. Of course, most of you watching know that I've moved to Columbia, and I've covered that in the last handful of videos. But I think it's important to start off the season with one huge disclaimer, and it's what I'm going to cover in this intro. Most everyone that watches these videos are doing it to plan a move. They're thinking about moving abroad and where can they go and how easy is it and how difficult will it be? Is it feasible? Yes, this hat is mangled. That's part of the story that I'll cover very soon. But I'll be getting a Columbia hat here shortly. But back to my point, you're watching this because you want to know should you move to Ecuador, should you move to Colombia, should Costa Rica, and so when you see something that says Ecuador or Colombia, like I do videos, then you're going, ah, oh, what can I find out? And that's my purpose, is to give you truthful information, good or bad, chips fall where they may. It's cliche time. I don't share a code and I don't fluff. So where did I move to in Colombia? Well, I didn't move to where I planned to move to. I didn't move to where I wanted to move to, but it's it's where I moved. And I'll be happy here and I'll be here till I would say at least February. Now is it bad where I am? Absolutely not. I moved to Manizales, Colombia which is uh, south, slightly southwest of Bogota and north of Medellin. Here comes the disclaimer. Manizales is most likely absolutely not for you. Now, why do I say that? I'm here, so why isn't it for you? Well, I'm gonna go through a quick list. First of all, if you have any health issues at all, is not for you. And if you don't walk really well, really easily, up grades like this or even steeper, it is not for you. Manizales is like San Francisco on steroids. It's a city of many levels and to reach various levels it goes up. Just from where I am to 50 yards to the main drag at the very top of uh, just this short distance. I've got a grade like that. Okay, here's my apartment building. On the third floor, one down from the top. And it's right behind these high rises. And this is a junior high, I think. It's a Catholic school and it overlooks that lower part of the city and right down there if you can see the red logo <clears throat> is the new mall maybe three blocks and then I've got this steep hill to go up to for the main drag and I will tell you I don't know if you even want to visit here if you're not a really good walker. Okay, that's where I just walked up from. This is the main drag. It's like Fifth Avenue. So you have to be in really good shape in order to live here and get around. Another reason it's probably not for you. If you're a non-Spanish speaker, or if your Spanish is weak, don't bother. I've yet to meet anyone here that speaks in English. You're going to need a pretty good use of Spanish to survive. If you don't like to be alone, if you don't like to live in solitude, Manizales is not for you. 
There is no gringo community here at all whatsoever. The only gringos you really see around here are tourists that are coming through for one or two days, usually on their way from Bogota to Medellin. I've seen a couple, but they were backpackers and they were on their way through. You need to speak Spanish, probably intermediate level. You're going to be alone if you were here. Because there's no community to rely on. There's no uh, daily newspaper. You are going to be isolated unless your Spanish is pretty good. And if you're retiring, which a lot of people who watch my videos are doing, you have the concern of the amount of effort you have to put into just to get around, just to go to the grocery store. Um, so if you're considering Monte Dollars, I would highly recommend you don't. Now, does that mean you can't come to Columbia? No. And in this season, what I'll be doing is I'll be talking about Columbia in general. I'll be talking about uh, the usual cost of living, best areas to live. And there are other places that are well suited for you to go and retire. Uh, for example, why is Medellin so popular? Why is it? Well, because it's modern, it's first world, it has everything you possibly want. It has very uh, upscale, secure communities that you can afford to live in. And there is a very large Rico population. It varies based on the estimate, the person doing it, but as many as 20,000 English speaking people. And because it's one of the main cities of Colombia, you have a fair amount of the local population that's speaking English or trying to learn English. It is a much flatter area. It's more in the style of Cuenca, where it's in a basin and then you're surrounded by the mountains. And another nice thing about managing is you have all of these little towns surrounding it, so it's a short hop and jump to go into the city, but you can be kind of overlooking and have some peace and solitude. And the weather is much nicer than a lot of uh, Columbia. There's a reason it's so popular. And we'll be talking about that. And we'll be talking about the coffee region, various areas of Columbia that if you're considering, you know, we're gonna go over that, we'll go over the safety issue, and is it really full of drug criminals, and if so, where are they are. All of these kinds of things that you would be interested in, I'm going to cover um, most of it in this, in this upcoming season. Now, how far out I go and how much actual video I'm able to take, point blank will depend on the kind of donations I get into the Patreon account, simply because due to circumstances, I just can't afford a lot of extra travel. But if that money comes in through those donations, then I'll be on a bus and I'll be in Medellin. Uh, it'll, you know, cover for a couple days in a hotel so I can do videos and you can see firsthand what is interesting, what's attractive about a place like that. And as much as I get in for this channel, it will depend on how far out I can go and cover how many places. So welcome to season six. Welcome to Columbia. Welcome to my new apartment, which I'll go over at uh, some point. And welcome to Manizales. But keep in mind, and I will be constantly reminding you of this disclaimer, that where I am, is 99% sure not for you. Now, why is that so important? It's so important because if you watch this video and you think that what I show is so nice and so attractive, you have to realize what the big downsides are gonna be. And if you don't have those things covered, you're gonna get here and you're gonna be absolutely miserable. Most people don't live in solitude very well. Most people, don't speak the language enough to be in a place like this. Many, many people 
are not physically capable of surviving in a place that you are literally climbing ladders every time you go out. So understand that disclaimer. I'll keep repeating it because I don't want you to make a huge mistake. But if you like the idea of Columbia, I'm certainly going to tell you great places for you to go. Whether it's a big city, whether it's in the country, whatever it is that you desire to remake your new life about, I'll be able to find that for you. And then you can decide from there. So, again, for the third time, welcome to Season 6, and I'll be seeing you soon.